Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 3. This is Problem 3. It says, what is the number of grams in 200 kilograms? And they give you a hint. It says, knowing that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And you have four options to choose from. Option A is 10, option B is 20,000, option C is 20, and option D is 200,000. <clears throat> so when you have a conversion of units like this, what I like to do is start with the number they give you, 200. Make sure you include the units of measure. So I'm going to put 200 and I'm going to put kg because that's the symbol for kilogram and it's used in the hint that's given. And I'm going to multiply that essentially by a funny looking number one. Anything times one doesn't change. The thing is, I'm not just going to write a 1, it's an unusual 1. The same amount over itself always reduces to 1, like 7 over 7 reduces to 1, you know, 32 over 32 reduces to 1. Well, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So I'm either going to put 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams or 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. You can have the same amount over itself, it's equal to 1, you're multiplying times 1, you're not going to change the amount. Now, what goes in the numerator and what goes in the denominator? If you guess, you have a 50-50, but if I want to cancel kilograms, what I want to do is make sure that kilograms is in the denominator so it'll cancel. So one kilogram, it equals 1,000 grams. Now when I multiply times one, kilograms in the numerator, kilograms in the denominator, it cancels. And I have 200 times 1,000 divided by 1. Well, the divide by 1 you don't really have to worry about. 200 times 1,000, I'm the times 1,000, I'm going to put three zeros on the end of the 200. And I get 200,000. And the units that are left after I cancel the kilograms is grams. And 200,000 kilograms is one of our options. It's option D. So the correct answer to question 3 is option D.